Left point now top of the line, Schneider, Riz shot. That one high and wide, bounces off the glass, comes in front and they score. It'll be a power play goal for the Brandon Wee Kings as Braden Schneider lets that shot go from the blue line. It goes over top of the Warriors net. Boston below us trying to recover. To split the D, ran out of room. Here's Chase on with it. Hits the trailer. Off the line. Here's Highland. Scores! What a shot! Brett Highland, the trailer, joins the rush and snaps one. Under the blocker and over the pad, we're all tied again. Corner, 25 to go in the period. Iorio a shot, tipped in front, they score! Jake Chason on the redirect, a power play goal, and Brandon has the lead. They had a couple of chances on this power play earlier, but couldn't connect that one up. Back out to center ice, here comes Ben McCartney on the left wing. McCartney back door, they score! It's Jake Chason, 25 seconds into the hockey game, and the White Kings have a one nothing lead side. Nate Danderson back to the front of the net. They score. Jake Chase on. Backdoor power play goal. And the Wheat Kings finally break the 0 for 13 goose egg and get a power play marker. It's 3 0. It's on below the goal line. Chase on. Back for Danielson. He scores. What a pass from Jake Chase on. And Danielson's got his first. It won't translate on the radio, but that was one heck of a pass from Jake Chase on. Back in Regina, Brandon with a 2-1 lead. Try to make it three, and they do. A rebound chance. And tucking it in from the doorstep, Jake Chason. And after Winnipeg opened the scoring on a goal from Connor Geeky at 637, Brandon has scored three consecutive here to give themselves a two-goal edge. Into the offensive zone, Schneider. It's Chase on the high slot. He scores. Jake Chason with a backhander. And that one handcuffs Max Paddock as he lost the bouncer coming in under the arm and just dribbled over the goal line. Jake Chason has tied the game up with 58 seconds remaining. Danielson top of the circle, throws it across. Here's Nychuk, back door, they score! Tic-tac-toe into the back of the net, it's Jake Chason, and it's 2-0. A chance at one end leads to a chance at the other. And Jake Chason with a tap into the open cage on a perfectly executed passing play. He's got his seventh, and Brandon has a two-goal lead. Chason's back in for Brandon. Left point, McCartney back to Chason. Left circle, shot, scores! Put it through the five-hole of Roddy Ross, and we're tied at one here in the third. And there's been a lot of good luck for the Regina Pats this afternoon. And finally, the Brandon Wheat Kings are able to break through offensively as Chason gets it. And right along the ice, crisp five hole on Roddy Ross. Have enough steam for a breakaway. Chason ahead for McCartney. In alone, fell down. He scores. Ben McCartney goes barreling through the blue paint. The puck's in the back of the net, and it's a 4 2 hockey game. I didn't think either guy had enough gas left in the tank to get there, but McCartney just takes the shovel pass and from his knees beats Gage Alexander, and it's a two-goal lead once again with 12.42 to go here in this third period. Greg out to center for Ben McCartney, two on one, clock running out. Here comes Ben McCartney in, waits to the front of the net, a tap in, they score! Jake Chason with .1 seconds left on the clock. The Wheat Kings have tied it. That stung Chase on. He's in some discomfort, but the celebration will heal all wounds as he taps Ben McCartney in the head. It's a tie game. Lucas dumps it off for Damon Hunt. Hunt plays it back for Popple, and he snapped it up and over the Brandon net. Back out to center ice. Ben McCartney's in behind the defense. He stays on side. McCartney to his backhand, and he scores. Slicker than grease on a barbecue brisket. Ben McCartney puts it upstairs in a hurry. Steps around one man and sends it down to the goal line. Quick process pass and they score. Pinching in from the blue line is Ryland Thiessen as he fires it over the blocker of Isaac Poulter. Quick strike offense here for the Wheat Kings late in the second and they lead 4-1.
Broncos got that momentum with that power play goal, but the Wheat Kings with a very strong answer back shift. Walking the line is Thiessen, back to the left circle, now sent to the goal, loose puck and they score. Brett Hyland finds the loose puck in front as the Wheat Kings will get their second power play goal of the game. Four minutes into the third period, it's now a 5-1 Brandon Lee. Third goal of the season for Highland. Broncos couldn't clear the puck and it ends up in the back of the goal. Tough break for Isaac Poulter, not a whole lot he could do on that one.